Today, I'm showing how to take your credit card statement that looks like this and turn it into a summary of your largest and most frequent areas of spending. And we're gonna do it step by step in under five minutes. Let me know in the comments, why are you doing this spend analysis and let's get started right now. The first step is to download your credit card statement. Mine from American Express looks like this. The next thing we're gonna do is convert this data to an Excel table. It's going to make our lives easier down the road. Click into any cell in the middle of the data and go up to insert in the ribbon and select insert table. Or you can just press control T for a shortcut Make sure you select that your table has headers and click OK. Now we're gonna build a pivot table on top of our Excel table. Click anywhere in your table and go up to insert and select pivot table. It's pulling from table one, which looks great and click OK. Let's populate the table with the data that we need. In the field list, I'm going to click on date, drag it into the column section and release my mouse. In rows, I'll drag in description and in values, I'm going to drag in amount. The first thing that stands out to me is we are displaying dates in month, day, year format. With pivot tables, you should be able to select the date field. In the pivot table, click on pivot table analyze in the ribbon and then group the dates by month. But Excel is telling us it cannot group that selection, which means it isn't recognizing these as dates. So we're going to click back to our Excel table data and fix that. And let's right click in description, select insert and a new column to the left. We'll call this column date underscore clean. And in here, we're going to write the date value formula and select our date column as the input. Date value converts the date in our date column into an actual date format that Excel will recognize. Close parentheses, press enter and the table automatically drags that formula down to the remaining cells. We'll quickly highlight these cells with control shift down and press control shift two to convert them into date format. So let's go back to the pivot table and in pivot table analyze, click refresh to see the date underscore clean field. Click and drag to remove the date field from columns and click and drag the new date field in its place. And Excel automatically recognizes that field as a date and groups them into months. Next, our description has all capital letters and special characters that makes this hard to read. This is an easy fix as well. Let's jump back to our Excel table data, right click, insert and column to the left. We will call this column description underscore clean and enter a proper formula and then another formula left. The text is the description and then comma and 15. The left formula will only display the left 15 characters of the description and the proper formula capitalizes each word, close parentheses, press enter. This looks great. And now back to the pivot table again. Click on pivot table analyze in the ribbon. Click refresh to see the new description clean field and swap it out just like we did with the dates. With our fixed dates and clean description, we can turn to the analysis. To identify the largest expenses, right click on the grand total, select sort from largest to smallest. Click on the dropdown by description, underscore clean, select top 10, and I'm gonna filter down to just the top five and click okay. Here's our list of five largest expenses. And I'm just gonna highlight this entire pivot table, press control C to copy and control V to paste it below. Then I'll clear the filter. This time I'm going to remove amount from the values and drag in description underscore clean instead. And Excel counts the number of times a description appears in our credit card data. Sort this from largest to smallest and I'll get another top five, but we have a lot of threes and some ties for fifth place. So you can see that I spent the most money at Costco, State Farm and DirecTV, but I spend most frequently at Lyft, Costco Gas, and Amazon. And check out this next video where I show you how to put your expenses into categories automatically. And I will see you next time.